with Brandon Winfrey of Insomnia Game. Yes, hello, thank you. And as you can see behind us, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. It's colorful. It is very colorful. It looks funny. Yeah, you know what? I don't, you guys can be the judge, but I think it's pretty funny. I would hope you think it's funny. You worked on it, didn't you? I know, but isn't that a little... You're like, yeah, it's, it's the funniest game ever. Like, oh my God. That's a little, You're I'm allowed to say that. If anyone can say that, you can say that, and no one can say it. It's funny. It's it's my type of humor, for sure. And I think it will be a lot of people's type of humor. Well, I'm pretty sure you aimed it directly at me. It's colorful, it's hilarious, and I get to shoot stuff. Yeah. And that's that's what I want. Yeah, there's exploding teddy bears. There's balloons that curse at you. Yeah. yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about Sunset Overdrive. Okay, so Sunset Overdrive, for people who don't know, it's a... Uh, here's the like marketing phrase. It's a open world, third person, traversal based shooter. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. But the idea, the basic idea is it's open world. Uh, it kind of combines all of Insomniac's uh, pedigree into one game where you have the, the shooting from Resistance and the platforming from Ratchet and Clank and the humor from all of our titles. And yeah, you're running around and you're, you're basically always moving. We want it to be about momentum. We didn't want people to stand still and fire away on the ground. We're like the anti-cover-based shooter, essentially. The, the anti-sniper? Yeah, pretty much. No, no camping in our game. That will get you killed. So, yeah. Even though it is a shooter, it looks far different than most shooters I've seen. It looks it looks to be the most hilarious and most colorful, I think, yeah. shooter I have ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's something we wanted to do. We wanted to stand out in kind of this sea of shooters that look very similar, but but for this one, it was like, let's take the apocalypse and flip it on its head. It doesn't because we worked with the dark apocalypse. Like we did Resistance Three, and like after that, it was like, let's just do something the complete opposite. So it's like, wouldn't the apocalypse be awesome? Because no one else would be around, and there's no rules, and you could do whatever you wanted. So it's kind of like the bright, cheery version. The apocalypse with more confetti. That's kind of how I like to think of it. The apocalypse with the energy drink. Yeah, exactly. There's an energy drink. That's how this whole thing started. Was Fizco is a massive company and they released a new energy drink without doing a lot of research on it. They rushed it to market, and uh, it accidentally turns everyone into mutants that drinks it. But you don't drink it, so you're okay, and you meet colorful people along the way that also don't drink it, and uh, yeah, you have fun. This game kind of seems like it's on an energy drink. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Amped up, which is funny, because one of our main things in the game is called amps, and those are essentially like customizable abilities that you can attach to your character. But the only way you're going to get those is if you're moving and shooting at the same time, getting a lot of combos in the game. So, so behind us is the multiplayer. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about the multiplayer? Yes, yeah, so this is Riot Squad. Well, this is actually just a section of Riot Squad. Riot Squad is kind of an experience where you go into the game and it's you and seven other people in the open world and you're choosing which missions you want to do in the open world. And based on those missions that you do and complete, it all leads up to this, which we have it here, which is Night Defense, which is where enemies are rushing your base and you're taking care of them. Uh, so yeah, and based on your choices in the open world, it makes it harder or easier depending. So it's it's all about player choice in that and just, I'm telling you, when there's eight people all having exploding fireworks and teddy bears and all this, it's it's chaos and that's why we named the Chaos Squad, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, as part of the dev team, what is your favorite part of this game? Hmm, I don't know. I really love the world. like. The city feels different than any other open world, in my opinion. It's because we didn't just build it horizontally. We built it vertically because of all the traversal. So it's like it's like stacks on stacks of level design, essentially, kind of. So you can just, you, just the traversal and getting around the world. And there's lots of details in the world. There's lots of street art everywhere. There's always something to look at. Um, and that's what I love most about the game. So Sounds very unique. Thank you for talking to us today. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it.